In Utility, you can manage all your profiles. There is two sections. There's the active profiles and there's the inactive profiles. The active profiles are saved on your keyboard and are the ones that you can directly access through your keyboard. The inactive profiles are saved in the Utility. You can still access them and edit anything you like, but it's not saved on the keyboard. In the header of the Utility, you can find the name of the profile and if it's an analog or digital profile. Left next to the name, there's a small indicator. When it's green, it means it's an active profile and the keyboard is connected. When it's orange, it's an active profile, but the keyboard is not connected. When it's gray, it means it's an inactive profile. There's a lot of different things you can do with the profiles. One of the most important things is that you can click and drag inactive profiles to your active profiles and that you can press the Create Profile button to create new profiles. Furthermore, to manage these profiles, you can duplicate a profile, you can drag to delete a profile, but you can also choose to click and delete a profile. And when you're ready to share your profiles with others, you can easily share a profile by clicking on the menu icon and then share. It will copy in a unique profile code to your clipboard, which you can now share with other people. If you received a profile code from somebody else, you can simply copy the profile code, head to the utility, and you'll see that the create profile button changes into import profile. By pressing import profile, it will add the shared profile in your inactive profiles. And last but not least, you can rename the profiles any name you want at any point. Very important if you don't want to forget what is what.